Oh, baby. He's going to get double swung on by Glocks. This is a hard duel for him. Though. And yeah, walking in left eye, Chris takes his head clean off. And Kenny, oh, he's found a very important headshot. He knows he's potentially pushed by Bemis. Tucks in, accepts the fate. The bomb will go down. That's Carrigan. Tucking in and getting it done. Kenny, big challenge, needs to find Bemis, but look at him scarfing into the site. He's kind of given him a second lease of life. Jackson Nico up brackets, Chad. They've got to retake, and they have got the kit, so they can run that clock down. No utility, it's just coming down to the jewels here. Body's on the line. First contact, Rops. Peppering Nico more where that came from, oh. and a clean one. That's exactly what Rops is known to achieve. Jack's coming from the balcony. That's an important one and a flurry of frags. Nico Nexa now frozen reveals his position, but he hits them all. It's only Jax has to step up. Doesn't have the time for this. Doesn't have time for the duel. The round has gone Mouseport's way. He'll get away though, saving himself a kit. Kev, oh, oh what? Yeah, too close to the bomb, you could see. Miles away. Yeah, it was a deeper plant. It was a deep plant, true. So now they have the brackets info. Chris. Peeking in, Kenny, perfect. Counter strafe does manage to find the accuracy onto Chris. There's a very tight line. He could be peeking into Hunter there. He'll peek off the flash. Kenny is blind, fires off the shot, and Hunter's down too. So much info off this. Ke Kerrigan's going to start calling quick. It's only Jax. Kenny's so locked out. What can you do? They're mollying him already. A lot of pressure here. You need to have some impact, Jax. He's burnt down, sprayed down to 10 HP. Just survival at this point. Kenny's managed to catch Frozen. That was the bomb crossing, so pressure relieved a little. Rotation's still super slow. Nico's in CT. Jax, 10 HP. God hey, damn. Another. Kenny's caught another. Now pulling out a smoke. Finally, Jax has fallen. Pressure relieved for Bemis, but he's lost That's his teammate. Kenny's doing it all. There's only one man left on the site. Anyone trying to cross up short into his line of sight has met Kenny's orb. He's found his form. And that's Bemis' head trying to take the fight. Close the gap. Don't want to let this one slip away. Bemis can do this. Molly's great. Forces him in back into an expected position, now being flanked and just totally tightening the noose. Sensation. He knows that smoke's coming out of his hands quick. What's the cue, though? That might be it. Here they come, and Chris Chase just run him down. That's not great. Hunter yet to really fill the feed. It's his chance now. One kill so far to his name. A fake plan. Oh, he's revealed his location. Now swung on. Carrigan caught. No bullets. Oh, it's enough, though. Using the four of them, now six. From the scavenge, Bemis AK doesn't reload. He holds his nerve. Rops is on default. Smoke fading. A chance for Hunter for more. And he's used them for perfect third frag. 15 HP oh. as he takes down another. They're just taking it in turns. It's Hunter to take the ace. Five scalps are fixed to his belt. And a second round for G2. Chris J. Well, he's on 29. That Deagle. It's going to be difficult to make it sing here. But pivoting. Next to finds one. Nico able to swing out off of that contact. The dot working wonders. Another head ripped away, make it a third, and Nico just looking to style on them here. Even no, I've changed kill. my mind, actually. I'm getting a dot. Yeah. Going back, to, going the back dot. to the dot. I had my... have the fuzzy tennis ball. Jax is Ooh. close. He's just pivoted in now. So the smoke's over. Away they go. Fast up quad. I like it. I really like the strat. Hunter, however, seems to have found the answer. Ooh, good dink. Maybe Jax is vulnerable. They drive by into the site. Carrigan does trade. They need to get that bomb down, but they need another frag. They know Jax still has pit. Kenny, don't play with fire here. Oh, nice. Jax has actually caught them as they elevate. Pushing in. Kenny, close quarters. What's he got his knife out for? There's, I think he thought it was over. And now, Frozen's got a Kenny's orb. Surely not. No, oh! he hits the wall bang. Kenny, red faced after this one. Nexa bails him out. My God. That nearly was a disaster. And those are the mistakes. Ooh. Those are the mistakes we said would happen. We are. Oh, we've got players that will jump through those hoops if they're presented. They know that they have banana control and they've had trouble getting past this AWP. Nico now starting to cheat over towards A. A bit of a call coming out of the G2 camp here as they stack on over. Smokes have landed and they have to push up quad again. Jackie boy playing anti. Oh, that 15 second mark on Kenny's first shot. He actually gets him in the smoke. The bomb. Oh, okay, Jax. Hold your nerve here. Finding one in the flashbang and all the frags come in in quick succession. That's a lovely six round for G2. And in fact, that is six in a row. He's got the perfect timing. Just as he arrives, they, so do they. Drop his incendiary into pool. It's a perfect start. Does make things dicey. Nexa has yet to reveal his location. Flashing. Flashes. Oh, oh no. Nexa stabilizes. He knows he's under a lot of pressure here. Drops his smoke. Chris finds him. It's actually Bemis. Kenny's been caught as well. Good damage through the smoke. Rops brought down to a competitive standpoint. But where is this retake coming from? Nico's going to smoke off banana. Chris won't be able to contribute. Looking for a 2v3 retake, and he lines it up. Kits on both. They've got a chance here. And that's the first frag. Nico's found it. Bemis still emo. It's Chris. 
They'll have to trifle with if they find this frag, and they have. One just has to hold him. Hunter doesn't have util, and he's actually going for the hold. Surely Chris just peeks in one, two, and three. He oh hasn't. my god! Oh, the ninjas! Pros do not fake. Hunter steals a seventh round, and Chris feels like a bit of a fool. They have one smoke for the cross. Chris has to be the one to get oh, that down. Another one low now. Next has dropped his smoke defensively. Chris is ready into pool. Hunter with a high flash. They'll fight off that. Bang. And there's two pool flash. Nico doesn't have anything but the kit and the M4 he brought into this round. And he's caught through the smoke. A big opening. They're so low though, and that's a chance. Needs to transfer. Where is Chris J? He's got no bullets. Nexa with a P2K he pushes in. A crucial frag. Takes Chris J out, and now it gets awkward. Carrigan, bombs loose. 12 seconds. Rops to support. He has to win this duel. He hasn't. And Rops, nothing really. Oh! Unless he gets the bomb down now. No time. Jax, by virtue of the clock, has won the round. Oh, a few more seconds there, and Rob's could have had that down, giving him a one-on-one -on -one against Jax, who was stuck towards CT. So the utility at this stage for Mouse with a minute left on the clock, out of Molotovs, and look at Hunter going for info. They can rotate that third man over towards B, but Mouse bot's going quick. Yeah, it's very quick, but the volley's great. You can see how much damage that inflicted to Carrigan to punish the rap. He gets through, his teammate went down, they're falling back. Yeah, Kenny's going to have to try and find Carrigan through the smoke, though. He could get caught out by this. Feet almost spotted there. Yeah, but Kenny's going to get punished if he's not ready. Carrigan, what a rascal. Catches him by surprise. He's going to keep the B players there. They're practically forced to save as Carrigan, the gatekeeper of the rotate. Great, cho great choice. Great decision making. They pivot back to A. The frags all go their way. It's a double kill from Rops. Yeah, that's a big risk from Carrigan, right? He loves to go in first to the in-game leader to make space for his lame stars. But look at this. Not only is he making space, he's winning the rounds and taking away these guns, ripping them out of the G2 player's hands. And that bank balance I was talking about, it's getting quite low. And that's going to be the fifth on the ball for Mouse Spots. They've had to work hard for this. And that was Rops getting two kills in transition. Hunter looking for info over towards the window room. And then he pushed up middle. Next, they're looking for some form of info. Nico dropping his incendiary. He's being pushed an hole just like that. Mouse have cracked into be a deep smoke. That's a great call. Garrigan's got a good read as to how they wanted to play this. And he's punished it accordingly. Frozen's gotten across with a bomb. Hunter's got very minimal line of sight, hoping to catch one as they cross. Another smoke. Get through one, get through the other. It's the final round of play. Look at all the nades left over for Mouse for this post plant. More smokes to drop, two more mollies, a bunch of flashes, hate cheese as well. If G2 want to get back in, they have to wade through the storm of this. There's that utility. There's the frag, though. Frozen needs more. Good shooting. Oh, nearly three. Kenny eventually shuts him down. It's just the two of them. And an AK upgrade for Kenny. Needs to go fast now. No kits. Carrigan confirmed it. It's his round. It's Mouseport's taking six. They will be happy with that, as will G2 with the nine. That oh, pause, Champy. All right. Rush has ever sold that. Anyway. Duelies. Duelies. I'm going to stay away from the emoticons and uh, get no, into I'm the game. I'm a Julie B push. Come on. Okay. Well, that's... A chance, and that's an even trade. It's changed Jesus. by Hunter. He just clicks on two heads, and into B they go. All right, bombs going down. Bemis and Rops. Very segregated. Is Bemis... Okay, there we go. Mine just uh, minimap wasn't moving. And the beauty of it is, is if you get in rather quick, you've got all that util to dump. I say that. Kenny still has his flashes. Oh, great shot, Rops. Back into the site now. Hunter was the hero to get them in. Maybe Rops could be the hero to get them out. And oh, he, hurt, he hears it. He knows that Kenny's tucked it on Emo. And Kenny brings the fight to Rops. That's a surprise. Wasn't ready for that. Bemis confirms his location. Now the crossfire is established. Hunter's even working on the flank. This is G2's round, boys. Nice finish there from Kenny. So two for Kenny, two for Hunter, and one for Nico in that 4A onto the B bomb side. And that's going to be the pistol round. Yeah, Nico, Jax, a smoke as well. They go on the flash and Frozen. He's actually tucked in underneath them. They're on top of each other. Frozen has the element of surprise now. He's gone unchecked. 24, he could even deny the plan. Jax's responsibility, and that's the headshot. One already. Oh, oh, a great shot what? to Kenny S. Yes, Frozen has definitely had his cornflakes this morning. And trying to plan his Jax. The last bullet doesn't connect. He gets it down. But so low. This is an impossible task to defend. Nico and Jax. I mean, a, a combination of aggression is required here. And yeah, just on the edge of the smoke, he's been spotted. Jax needs something as the smoke fades. Well, they're Nico's flubbing one. it. Yeah, they're low now. Bemis is being pushed from every angle, and he's gone down. They've got time for the defuse. So he's forced that out of them. Ooh, Garrigan's got a lot of pressure. He catches the jumping SMG, but doesn't anticipate another. Kenny going down, though. So next, are losing the bomb to Chris. Chris has had a lot of impact already. It's only Hunter and Nico. One in the balcony held by Rops, and Nico's trying to smoke off the library, but that bomb retrieval just feels like an impossible task. 
Got a one deke for me, Nico. That's kind of what we need. Yeah, nice well handled ball from Chris. He's handled that whole round. And Rops finds the tip of Hunter's head. So, tapping away at that. That force by goes nowhere. This is a really hard duel for Carrigan. Yeah. Gets the info, though. Ooh. Oof. He's actually choosing to re-peek on the flash, and Jax gets away nicely despite the loss of vision. Rops is flashed on that balcony position. And that's the swing. Oh, confirms Rops' location, catching him as he jumps. This is great from G2. Bemis under a lot of pressure. The trades all favor the T side now. They have the advantage and they have the sight. Couldn't have gone better. Frozen's in the spawn. Chris is working through mid. He's even thinking about second mid, so Frozen's death might just confirm it. Almost fluffs his lines there. Next, they're down to 31, but yeah, you're right, Chris. Jay. We'll have to save at this juncture. One on three, retaking the A site with the bomb. Almost halfway ticked. And it might even be an A. Charging into Carrigan's position. He's flashed him off. Hunter being held. He strafes and does catch a tag. Carrigan, they're trying to wrap B. It's rare to see. Got a full banana split coming in here. And Frozen, he fancies a treat. He's got himself Hunter. Finishes off the job of Carrigan's orb, but needs another. That's the bomb. Great shooting from Frozen. One more would confirm it. And Jax gives it to him. Oh dear, Nico and Nexa then. Suddenly this feeling a little bit more awkward than it needed to be. Nico does open up and that's a big win from Frozen. He's practically won the round single-handedly. There's no time for Nico. And no health either. Four HP, Frozen with a quad kill to confirm the round. That is one way for a B defender to earn his credits. And you can see the power of that line. He doesn't choose to pull the trigger on the flashbang and now still finds a gap, still finds a chance. A double from Chris J, practically winning them. The B shut down, that's already enabled Carrigan to rotate. Nexa does find him on the flank. Chris is vulnerable too. Maybe G2 can turn this on its head. It comes down to Jax's frag here. <gasps> Robs has got the reactions. Jax is going to be kicking himself. Nexa, chance, minimal chance, but it's one all the same. Frozen could be holding him. Chris baited in. He knows that Frozen's on Nubox. They're playing this to perfection. Nexa with all of the frags and Kenny's caught Robs. One second to plan and they get it down. Overcoming the odds. This is a crazy hero round from Nexa. He's even picked up an AWP. Tried crossing now, Bemis. I dare you. Oh, okay. So the smoke's still up, so Kenny can't really contribute. Bemis will have to cross the line of sight of that AWP, though. Good. He's not that good. G2. Hunter up towards Boiler with a UMP. This is a great weapon for the job. Wow. Makes it work. Wow, Bemis has actually lost that duel, and so suddenly Chris J feeling a little less safe. Oh, and Hunter's taken Yikes. them both down. An aggressive AWP. What an upgrade. You take that. 1,200... Dollar SMG catching a fully bought up M4 and AWP. That, I'll tell you now, I'm no investment banker. That sounds like a good investment from Hunter and Nico's only added more to the list. It's all falling apart here for Mouse. This is a huge round to lose and not in this fashion. Yeah, you don't want to break this one down and just be able to dismiss it as an oopsie, especially considering its implications for the map win. Oh, I like the gap. Rops has managed to find his building info as well. Here's Jax. Could catch him off guard completely, but this is all a question of how they handle that info now. Four versus two. Nexa managed to win one just the round prior. Maybe Rops can find a little angle. Oh, he's got so many angles. He can't stop Nexa. Oh, Takes the head what? off of Kenny. What a shot from Rops. Now Frozen's rotating in. He's still got space around the flames. Frozen advancing. Does have a smoke. Hunter's holding the line, though. And that's a frag. That's the important one. Now it's all on to Rops. They know where he is. It's down to G2 misplays at this point, and Nex are not going to have that. Okay. Well, he's built a bit of a bank off of it. And he looks very promising. Does chip away at them, softens them up for an aggressive M4. Uh-oh, they're coming. Nico's fully flashed. The flashes do only set up for one, though. And Rops denies me a correct sentence. A good shot from him as he re-peeks into middle. So flash just to get them off the new box. Yeah. Nice self angle. You could see his hunter was clearing his close corners. Bemis resolves the issue. 20 seconds then. Kenny mantling up. Bon Nexa needs to be getting that bomb down, but it seems like the positioning from Frozen is just too perfect. Time is just not on their side. They can't surely be punching the digits without checking emo. Nine, eight. They find it. Perfect stuff. No time. And the frags come in. Frozen and Bemis tested, and they pass. Equal trades is not enough on B right now. They need to get a number advantage. All right then, Chris, you're flashed off. You're visible, and they convert. Oh, both frags delivered save. by Nico, and that's immediately going to have to be the save call, is it? What is he looking in for? What is he thinking? Oh, dear. What have they got? 1,900. That's Carrigan guaranteed not to have an M4.
I remind you, $1,900 is the loss bonus from our sports. They're boosting over the smoke. Can Nico see him? Okay, he's not going to play any silly games, silly games there. Oh, my Lord. So next is holding the CT swing, and he gets to do all of this contact walk-up. Frozen, if you have a look, bro. Yeah, you're going to get orped. Bingo. First frag found for G2. They're already in. Nico's taken another bunch of space. Yeah, Carrigan's going to run through that smoke. He's thinking about it. Yeah, he is. Kept the timing, but Nico's got the reactions. And just like that, Mouseports have three players left. They're charging through CT to retake. Bomb way back on Banana. Jax will be bringing that in late. They're just setting up for control, dropping their util. The rotate is in. 30 seconds, still no bomb plant. G2 cannot afford to slip up here. If Chris was to stop it, they re-smoke it. Jax is playing with fire. Now you still haven't planted, bro. He knows the boost is a threat. Flash and go. And they've got the boost frag. Double from Bemus. Jax was trying to plant. Now it falls to Chris J. They need to get the bomb down. 10 seconds. 10. He's got 10 bullets. And they find it eventually. Kenny S catches as the smoke fades. That's G2's. And that was Mouse's pick. 1-0 in favor of the Samurai heading into Dust 2. We'll be breaking down our first map. Both landing on the CT side. No info at all. Shots confirming the steps. Now, Rops has taken flak very low. Carrigan's actually got the destabilizing frag, a great push. Now in the site, Hunter has made a bit of a meal of that. If you can find Rops, it's all is forgiven. Finally, he's gone down and they just about get into the site, but they don't have the bomb. The CTs have it now. Carrigan's frag has won them this. And now, well, sure, you're in B. You don't have the bomb, though. Nine and seconds. once tucked in, this is a round over. They need to die. Hunter gets the frag. They don't have time. The CTs can just run away. Yeah, they learned their lesson from the other day against Astralis. No loss bonus for Hunter and Nexa. Um, it's a gamble, and it works. It's perfect. Carrigan's got a good suspicion as to where they're coming. Running boost. They would have Hunter seen him on the ramp. Likely spotted. Carrigan drops his own smoke defensively. But that will enable a plant. Nice from Rocks. He's comfortable in those fights. And as is Carrigan here. Oh, they're causing so much chaos. It's only Nico. Oh, okay. Steagle. What am I saying? Only Nico. It's Nico. And now he can get the bomb down. It's a quick peek from Kenny. G2 convert it. He bails them out there with a pair of frags. G2 will know what they're working with. And this is what I don't want to see. If they just get cat control every single time for free, Mao's not going to be able to defend this. Oh, not unless Bemus gets a crazy double just like that. Now a scout takes down the orb. This game is going to be weird. Oh, wow. And even tacking him up on the cross, Nexa just having more salt poured into the wound. Rops finishes off the job. Jax doesn't have the bomb and he doesn't have a head. Rops takes it from him. Attention drawn elsewhere. Hunter just gets the timing as Kerrigan feels he has to contribute from short. And Bob's your uncle. Fanny's your aunt. You're in. He's going to clear this surely. Oh, no. They've flubbed their smokes. Miscommunication. Nightmare. Okay. Hunter's won his duel on Kerrigan. Now the see Chris J has to worry about two avenues of assault. Hunter biding his time. Doesn't want this hunt to be rewarded yet. Chris is going to find him. Surely looks down, doesn't he? Doesn't he? Oh, Hunter's got them both. Such low HP, but such contributions. He's even stolen the orc for the final frags. Nico going down, but so does the bomb. They might have to save. Feels like the percentage play. Flub smokes from G2. I'd love to look that one through. I don't know if one was missed. I don't know exactly what happened there. Maybe they miscommunicated on what they were meant to be smoking, but that could have actually fallen apart if it wasn't for Hunter's brilliance. MP9 and UMP. Oh, Bemis. This often gets unchecked, and that's why he's got himself one and a half. Frozen. Finding more than steady. that. A double steady with the M4A1. Kenny about to catch a HE. Boof. He pulls the trigger as it lands. He's got 10 HP still being pressured. He needs a quick smoke. Oh. Carrigan jumps to secure it. And that is one way to win a round. My God, look at the X's on that long side. Oof, Rops has done so much here. This is such an odd duel as well. Because yeah. <laughs> Hunter knows he can't go and get the bomb. Just trying to do damage. And <laughs> Rops finishes him off. So odd one there. The all in towards long didn't work for G2. And that's like we didn't actually see a lot of when they played North. And now they're just closing in on them. Look at this. Carrigan coming through Cat. They've got Long. They've got CT. G2 are trapped. Good start. Continuing to tighten the noose on this retake. But the bomb being down does give Hunter something to play with. And locking down short is a crucial angle held now by Nico as well. Look at this. He's counting on that short hold. Two coming from there. It is Chris Jade Long presence that could really throw a spanner into the works of this. Nico's responsible for it. Here they come. 
double. Next is one in both. Likely the round now as well. Frozen Beam is flooding in. He does hit a great shot, but <gasps> both of them. Oh, and he nearly gets Nico. He's still holding the line. Frozen's found the frag. Have they got the time? Not today. God damn, Frozen. One way to make it stylish. One way to make it hurt as well, because those frags, they're not for nothing. They're not for naught. Oh, it's drawn oh, the patient. Just as Jax goes down, Robs calls it. And so do G2. They've caught him in transition with five seconds to spare. Smoke and Mirrors has aided them in the plant. They have a lot of utility they for this. They can win this. Yeah, another smoke on Nexa as well. Kenny and Nexa talking it through. How do we win this disadvantage? Catching Rops with a death, no less, baiting him into the knife out. Okay, flash for Kenny on info. Chris is looking directly at it. This is going to be good. Sees one, catches Bemus, knows there could be one close. Frozen spotted in the tunnels. Kenny, don't flub your lines here. Chris is pushing. Kenny's gone down. It's all on to next. I can't transfer in time. Mouse Sports, another one on one goes Mouse Sports way. Uh. Oh, it doesn't spread. Nexum doesn't make a single Q, and so Bemus caught off. Oh, great openings from Nexa. Two dead A, two rotating B. 25. T time gets a bit Have awkward. They second guess themselves many times here, G2. It will be the A finish, and Chris has got the AWP for the cross. Flash hasn't stopped him. He'll have vision for the cross. He just has to hit the shots. A good flash. Now they're across. Hunter with the bomb. No way. Just a third flash bails him out. Oh. X has found a third impact frag as the bomb goes down. A G2 will make a fourth round. They're even hunting right now. Nico having a look. I think Frozen spotted this. Rops is aware. Even shows up his head there. So could have lost it. Could have lost the AWP. Frozen will make sure that doesn't happen. Bomb goes off. And they do hold on to these two weapons. Very, very important. Need to damage control here, even perusing the gap. Kenny's hungry for something, and so Carrigan, what are you doing? He's oh, done it again. It. He's such a rascal. There is few players that I watch regularly make plays that I know are going to piss off pros. He just cleared up a tunnels as well. He can get out. Well, Nico's not interested in letting him out. Oh, <laughs> oh you dick. Carrigan, he's one of them around with the CZ, or at least he's got close. Well, this is the type of round that Mousebots love to drop with a bit of a fumble. Oh, yeah, fair play. Carrigan, he's done so much hard work. There's no one on A. Yeah, Rops' smoke is only to enable him to push up. And I this actually kind of like it. I like what he's doing here. He's taking a risk. And they could even boost to deny the plant. Do they want to? This is dangerous, dangerous territory. Walking up, Jax may not be ready for this. Frozen's already found one. Jax oh. just goes, well goes down. Mousebots, this is brilliant. Nexa. What are you made of? Double. Needing Bimus as well. Good damage. On to Bemus. Does evade the flash. He's doing as much as he could. Gets them both within an inch of their life. This could be the Jacks drop into CT and do a B split. Looks like it is. Carrigan. Lurking on the edge of the smoke. Jacks has been caught out. So ready for Great it. Great play. Carrigan's done his research. He doesn't control the spray well enough. And so, oh dear, they don't wait for the smoke. Rops is just going to get a freebie. Does get traded. Now Nexa, a crucial duel. It's about timing. Frozen starts to shoot. Should be the trade immediately from Nexa. Kenny's the one to pull the trigger. So we have a 2v2, and Mouse have won us their fair share of retakes on B. This one, however, is an even number. Kenny's holding the push with Bemis, and he's missed it. Oh, Rather no. tagged him. Now Bemis has a new lease of life. He can survive. Coming in. No one's looking. Okay, Nexa again oh. with a impact frag. Bemis, it's the last round. He may as well give it everything she's got, Captain. 8 HP, he's charging in, and that's it. It's 10 to 5, G2. They believe G2, whether it's here or on the third, have got this one in the bag. I think the pistol will be a good indication as to what kind of defense we'll get out of G2, because the T side, it was a close, but no cigar it's chapter, really. Oh, well, Rops has spurred out long, and Nico's just stripped them of their lives. Rops and Carrigan fall. And that's the kickoff G2 are looking for. Straight out mid to B, they're spurred on by that, and maybe isolating Jax over towards window would be a good start. He's peppered away, missed a couple of shots. They know where he is now, and they're in limbo, Mouse Sports. This is going to be a matter of time. Okay, well, Nico's got three now, and they're on the quick pursuit. Bomb's actually made it into the site. This plant's going to be great. There might be an opportunity for them to go for the force buy in the next, and, well, G2, they're already close towards the doors. The bomb started ticking, and they're coming through. Chris J, not able to receive anything as Nico's found his fourth. Beam is now in a one on three and can't make it work. Waiting out this smoke, so they really want the pick here on B. They might get it. Yes. Jax has got some info. It's a double SMG B hold. I mean, I'd be definitely feeling the threat now. And Nico's trying to bail them out. Oh, we get dinked by Carrigan. But the fact he lives on could enable him to throw out that util. Jax, what are you doing? He's just walked out the doors. 
Bemis gets the frag he was dreaming of. Nico, however, makes something out of nothing. Hunter fully flashed. He should go down to... Oh, my Rot. God. There we go. And Mouseports now in prime position. Next three even caught on the long flank. Kenny, no longer a question of winning the round. It's a question of holding on to his AWP. Can we can we think about that one a little more? Well, so we need to see if this is a continued decision from Mouseports. We've spoken about the CT hold of G2, the fact that they have one player towards long. The CTs are going to get oh super God. sketched out. Hunter's not even looking. Oh, Carrigan, bit of a miss there. Hunter's going to punish you for that. Bemis is the one to make things better. And now, with 20 seconds, it has to be the B finish. It's only Jax, and he was tagged. Surely not. He's got one. Confirms the bomb's tunnels. It's Chris J charging in. Nexa recovering an AK. He has to get onto the site. Oh! He's hit a fantastic reaction onto Frozen. Knows Chris is left. He's making plenty of sound. And it's Chris with a quick reaction. Jesus. Elevated, hard adjustment. Nick Chris J saves Mouse and puts the 12th on the board as well. I was going to say they're committing, but no, they've just isolated the fact there's a player towards spawn. That's going to force him back towards A, and they're going mid to B off of this. It's going to be the B split again. They want to punish Jax. Oh, no, it's Hunter this time, though. He's all alone. Jax is on long. Nico caught through the smoke. Carrigan keeps finding something. And Jax is going around the world. Nexa Wait. wants to punish. Uh-oh, this is huge. This is huge. Oh. Nexa doesn't pull the trigger, but Jax does. Jax over commit now. Perhaps Nexa would get away. A three on three. Where's the bomb going B? Nexa's so detached. Kenny's the question mark. Hunter, what are you made of here? It's Rops. Hunter's got the crosshair placement, gets the first. Knows there's a second. Frozen's dealt with him on the cross. A oh. great shot. Kenny may have won the round with that. That's been heard. Bemis doesn't have the element of surprise does have the aim. Oh, oh my, my God. God, he tried it. That would have been something. The transfer onto Nexa doesn't quite connect, but Bemis, you madman. He's still got a shot. The doors have swapped. Nexa will have eyes on the cross. And so he opts for the doors instead, hoping that Nexa is the one to close the gap. He'd need a one shot headshot and timing just as he looks away. Okay. That's gonna be a four man alien. It's the all in long. It's the right call here from G2. The Molly will be there. Info that there's someone. Oh, Hunter's been spotted. Chris J will go look in the flashes, catch him. And Hunter will eventually go down. Rops does catch Nexa on the gap of the smoke. Early casualties for G2 to overcome now. Kenny already getting a little bit of pressure. He's so concerned about short. But now there's a bit of a double pump. It will be a single smoke. And second on the fly, Kenny. I like the peak. Oh, he's going to do it too. This is it. And that could very well be the round. That's 14 now locked in. Valiant attempt. They took their time. Mouseports were not going to give Kenny what he wanted there. He'll be able to see over the smoke. Frozen's the only one with a molly for him as well, so he might get a couple. Timing's everything when he looks. Second smoke. That's his chance, and that's the bomb. He confirms it now. Extinguishes the smoke, or the, rather the molly. He actually gets Bemis. Didn't think he'd have the line of sight. Nico, what a thorn in their side. Next has been found, but they came in a pair. Came in a pack, and he's pushing onto Chris J. It's a risk from Jax, but it's good pressure. Naded down to three HP. Jax needs a reload. Yes! Rops has been jiggled out. He wins his first duel. Kenny upgrades from a scout to an AWP. Bomb on Xbox. He can smoke and retrieve that. Rops, for some reason, I feel like it's winnable, but he's only got 15 seconds. He'd have to be planting. Real quick. And Nico is holding his cross. Lovely play from Nico. That round is his. He catches three on the mid split B. Dear, I do not like this whatsoever. Yeah, for they Mouse. got the setup. They got the setup they need. Takes a pot shot, flashing above for Nico. And now he can peek up. Oh, Bemus may be making a round now. Kenny finds Frozen. The bombs on Carrigan, still waiting to get that down. The Molly buying time. And here he goes. Smokes start to fade. Bombs being planted. A nade might do some significant damage, but it's not enough to take him down as he crosses into that smoke. And now, be cautious of your right push. He's got a teammate for that. Kenny, starting this retake. Now, sports, this could be such a big win. Chris has already found one. Carrigan swings out. They're punishing here. Kenny's hit a good shot, but I'm afraid he's left alone to his own devices Ooh. and Mouseports have found themselves the 15th. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, we could buy again in the next round. And they've been able to pick up the 15th in style. And now the money, look at it for G2. 40 seconds. Yeah, the bomb's at top cap. Ah, <gasps> so much room. Oh. You heard him. Kenny tucking in. Chris likely to punish. Frozen and Rops suddenly fragging. Is this how it ends? Surely not. The bomb's top cap. They're just getting out jeweled here. 24 seconds. They don't know where they're going. Jax is pushing the tunnels. Nico taking a chance and it's paid off. He's got the bomb loose again. 15 seconds. Oh, we're dark. Jax, all you have to do is stop the plant.
doesn't have the time anymore. Frozen confirms it. The two of them making it a full ace. Frozen triple, robs the double. That's one way to take your opponent's map pick against them. To separate G2 and Mouse, we need a third. Yeah, nice call. Bomb's not to be planted just yet. That's Frozen working on that now. And he disappears off into the hut. So, Lobby held. Rops shows his face and takes Jax out. This is a great start for Mouse, and they'll flash off and go. It's not even a flash, it's a decoy, but it will turn the players all the same. They're holding it from Hurt. The frags favor Bemis, Chris J, Mouse Boss in general. All of the frags go in their way. They're low, but it's only Nico. Rob's playing the safe game. He's even working on the flank should he need to. Stealing that away from G2, not letting being netted up in two. And Nico, couple of shots exchanged with Rops. They're both more than happy to survive. Not opting to do so. He's actually going to be mollied out of position, so he has to extinguish, and that doesn't help them. I thought he hit that. Kenny sticking around. It forces an aid out of them at minimum. Good oh. damage inflicted. Oh, Carrigan, he's about to have a field day with his SMG. Shut down by Kenny. Now, four versus three. 50 seconds. Where's the bomb going now? Bemis and Chris J, the ones to make the decision. Nico is on heaven. Nexa on hearts. He'll have a powerful position to deny this. As they head from main. Nico spotting them. Spots the bomb as well. It's basically confirmation. Oh. He even re-peeks into Rops. That was the AK. Nexa, perfect. Just needs Bemis now, and he's on main already found. They got the numbers. They got the round here. The flash is good, but taking a bit of flack already. Kenny goes down. They're up the vents. Bemis just looking for survival here, and Nico denies that. He'll grab us whatever he can find. It's an AK there, one main for a Galil. Damming through, seeing if they can do any damage, but it is set up for a top hit. Yeah, he's going to be mollied off the hut. No one's there. Nexa not burning. He can do damage from here, a lot of it. And Hunter stops them initially. Hoping not to be checked, but Bemis very thorough. Oh, Bemis. what an adjustment. The pre-fire through the smoke. Nico loses his head. Bemis taking this round. It's three kills for the new addition to Mouse. And wow. A team where he wasn't given the roles that he wanted. He was only a stand-in over there. And now he's been used by Carrigan, obviously someone who gets the experience of rebuilding teams, using players that are absolute best, and just throwing in this youngster with mechanical brilliance. Carrigan, oh, that's a great catch from Kenny. He actually wants more here, and respect, he hit that flick, but it actually does cost him his life. Chris gets tagged to 15 of a crazy wrist breaker from Kenny. Hunter taking a lot of space here as well. Yeah. Mouse would have to be very good to win this round. Especially considering that Jax is, ooh, did he get spotted? No, he didn't, and so he can frag out both. Lovely play from Jax, just it emerges from his hidey hole, getting himself a double, frozen yet to frag. Some financial damage could definitely be the name of the game here. Ah, Nico, perfect. Oh. The shot keeps moving. <laughs> That's a fifth death for poor old Frozen. Kenny held at bay. Nico to play around that. Frozen needs to still find some impact here. And limping out top will be Carrigan. They're just going to walk in. Next up. He hears it. He's been found. Oh, great shooting. Nexa anticipates the push. Bemis, he's still alive. He's been very good into the sights, but he has to overcome a serious man disadvantage, especially now Frozen's been found. Oof. It's only the one, the Galil, just not quite the weapon for the job. G2-5, Mouse Sports 2. You get nothing. Best case, you get that bomb down and a couple of kills. He's within the one dig range now. Jack still stands his ground, though. Doesn't want to concede, and look how well he's played that. <laughs> Neat and tidy against the deco from Jax. Ramp hold, good to see. Kenny's got Jax alongside for the ride here. This is a great timing on the push. Chris caught. Another big opening, and they actually dropped two incendiaries to stop the bomb retrieval. Hunter's even pushed into the lobby, losing his life. A bit of a risk, not going his way. Kenny continues to take some, but thinking better of it as the flash pours in, he wants to contest this. Sweeping in, Tr oh. does catch a glimpse of the shoulder of Carrigan, but that's next up. Perfect timing. They refuse to let go of the accelerator. And this pace, it's really locked them down. They still haven't been able to get that bomb. Chris J is just so mad that he lost it in the fray. Finally, Rops recovers it in the smoke, but... Oh, that sounded good. Kenny threw the molly. Hitting Frozen, and it is just Rops looking to save on that T-Roof. Now Sports just looking a little bit uninspired right now, and I, I don't want to dwell on it, but I really do think they're being rattled by that issue that happened earlier in the in the half. Nice oh. find from Bemis. 
takes down Nico. A crucial opening on the yard position. Jax rotates off as well. He might want to check Bemis out here. Jax has got a really good idea. And he does find the clean headshot. Down to the lower site. Hunter talking of headshots is dinked. Carrigan, but his weapon stronger. Does find the same shot. Takes Hunter out. Three on three against the Molly. Jax. Oh no. Caught in transition. Chris has found another. Looks like mouse sports are set for success here. Only Nexa. He's parked up. It doesn't look like it. Happy to sit back, but Carrigan with some big impact in this one. Searching forward. <laughs> what? <laughs> he was ready for that, I guess. Carrigan waking up. That's a triple kill from the uh, in-game leader. And where's the bomb finishing? Oh, Frozen gets caught out here. He'll be in no man's land. Kenny will clear towards top heaven. Frozen's going to die. He's so paranoid about that push. Kenny likely going to have a look. And oh, dear. That was, that was what they were waiting on. And just as the chaos creates... Jax finds two. That's perfect timing from G2. Just as you can see, like, okay, so if they were setting up heaven, where's the rest? It worked perfectly. Mouse Sports back against the wall here. 10 to 3 is the scoreline. The smokes will come out, and they want to just hit topside. Carrigan, the in-game leader, gets an opener. Here we go. Hunter one for one. Chris J takes him out. They have the numbers on the plant. Frozen's already in main. This feels much better. The top takes can definitely work. Early frags onto Nexa and Hunter have put them into good stead. Kenny and Nico forging a path for main. Frozen already finding his first frag of the round, his second in the map. Cleanly finishing off Nico, practically won the round now as it's just Jax. He was the ramp player. Final round, third map of our first half. And Kenny with some aggression, good flick. Nico found Carrigan and a second as well. They're going to finish this round right here, right now, unless Chris has one of his Chris J rounds. He's definitely capable. Rops as well. He might be walking out. I'll catch a timing here. It's held by Hunter. He's even pre-aiming the rafters. Maybe next if he peeks in, would have an advantage there. Oh, what a shot. Rops adjusts. Wants to walk in. Hunter was on CT vent. Don't forget, he spots him though. Rops can take this shot. He's no slouch, is Rops. He's made a round out of this. Chris did go down, but Rops has managed to make space for himself. If he goes up ladder here and then drops down behind the bomb box, he can molly hut, meaning he will be able to get the bomb down, but Jack should pin him in position and has utility of his own. This is timing now. Spots him, and Jax wins the round. Robs a huge investment of time, could not convert the final frag, a double. Towards Yard, Molotov towards the top side as they wanted to team out squeaky door. Down the vent they go. Ah, and they've already got one down secret too. There's so much lower access. Go on, Robs. Hit us some bangers. That's a start. Nexa loses his head, and they lose the bomb. Carrigan swinging in to punish. Kenny is under a lot of scrutiny, but Carrigan is two now. Nico closing the door behind him on Decon. Needs a clean kill. Doesn't have it. Nico makes it a 4v4. And the bomb will be going down. Kenny's going to give that a go. Chris is working down the ramp. Hunter and Jax, a late arrival from the same position. They find Frozen lurking. Oh, dear. Bemis and Robs in jeopardy now. He's got pressure from behind him. He has been hitting some good shots, but it's jiggled nicely. Hunter trades. And so Bemis, a one versus three. Hunter advancing, and so is Kenny. They will take this duel together. Hunter held at bay, but the bomb will start to slip into the site. Can't contest now. Bemis, he's held by the elevated position of Nico, as well as ramp on Hunter. Not going to be easy. They'd have to give him a way in. This would be a clutch beyond his years here. This is a uh, Snacks. Big Apple hungry moment. He's not going to have it at all. Nico just blows his head off and we are sorted. This Jay advancing. He wants a fight here. He's going to get what he wanted. Hunter losing his head. Jax hunting. He's found Rops hiding. Master of Ramp Room this time, but Frozen trying to scavenge an air AK-47. And it's actually been punished. Break. Yeah, Carrigan, look at the timing on this one. He has a chance to really put the thumb screws onto Nexus lobby push. And just like that, he slipped away. Carrigan's got a sneaking suspicion though. Oh, Lord, Kenny may not be anticipating this at all. Yeah, he'll get that frag and even maybe onto Nexa. Carrigan is so switched on. He's got himself the bomb and a chance to win the round now exclusively off the back of these two frags. I don't think it's enough. You don't? Nico's coming in from main. Bemis had, would have to catch the timing. They're going back to address the top site take. Jax actually can pick up the bomb here and go lower with this. There's so much time. Oh, he's caught a oh timing on Nico as well. Carrigan with no armor. One bullet would do it, Jax. Truly, one. Doors open. Doesn't get worse than that for Jax. He's got a MAC-10 versus an AK, and he's even pulled out the bomb. What? Getting away with that. A fake plant. Trying to catch the shots. Five seconds. He doesn't even get the plant. Well, it's not a pretty end to the uh, clutch, but it's a gorgeous start from Carrigan. Unprepared for the take of Nexa. He's walked up to the squeaky side. 
two from Naheem. Carrigan's on low sight. Rox is... Oh, what is that? Oh, what a spray. Bemis takes two heads in a matter of seconds. And just like that, Nexus left in a dire straight. I thought we had a slow 3v3 established. Bemis doesn't even drop a bead of sweat. And that's the finish from Rops. Here we go. Mousebot starting to do some convincing. They go very, very quick back towards ramp. Rops could be in trouble. He's already dropped lower. Yeah. Oh, no, wait, it was Chris that went lower. He's holding ramp. And he's actually got two finally taken down. Kenny will upgrade. Can he get away? Just, okay, interesting. Rops has justified the AWP though, and Chris is about to find more with his, come on, close quarters as well. The barrel's so visible, and Chris pulls the trigger. Oh, oh. Nearly, nearly the flawless round, a hop and a shot. Jax to clutch, frozen in the off angle. Good adjustment from Jax. Maybe he's got something to say about this. A smoke as well, likely decon. Run down this clock. You might think he's saving, it's so late. Yeah, doors open and Carrigan likely will be able to stop this plant. Three, two, one. After time would be even better. Oh, Jax. Bemis coming down the vent. Oh, Jax, mate. He's down to 3150. Plan is not ruined just yet. Chris has got a perfect line. And Nico's just walked straight into it. So backing away, procedural orping here and might have to back away even further. Yeah, he suspects with 25 seconds left, they will have pace to this. Next up, trying to find one. Oh my Chris, God! That is some ballsy stuff. It's actually fed them the frags. Now Rops, frozen yet to frag. It's only Rops now. So low, being pressured from everywhere. Where's the bomb? Jax needs to get it down. 10 seconds, they're scaring me. Get it down there. Hunter to hold it. Bomb going down with one second to spare. G2 made a bit of a meal of that. That could have gone awry if Rops had found something. Now I don't fancy his chances. He'd be dropping into Hunter. Go on, no scope, oh, just a little wide. Throwing that out in partnership with the locker's smoke. Flash for the first peak. Chris wants to call red clear and he can. So those smokes don't hold the info they were supposed to and wow, smoking off hut, but he hits the wall bang. Can he just bang Carrigan on the top site? Oh dear, they can go lower. They're trying the vents, they're dropping down. There isn't a single CT down there naturally you'd expect. Okay, Kenny. I'm gonna go in deep. Are they just gonna save? Like, if the bomb goes down into five on three lower retake. Oh, Nico. A little late to react oh. there. Could have been looking at his radar. Yeah, I think so. But he does put it back together in time to find the necessary headshots. So G2 are looking at match point G2 setups. Mouseports have had to work really hard for their rounds, whereas G2 and something like this, they, it's not that they are gifted it, but they get the opening two kills and it's basically one at that point because Mouseports are stuck in the wrong positions. <sighs> Top play, but it's fast ramp. Yes, and Rops has lost his jewel. That's it. Yeah, that's a fast pace to G2. They're looking fierce with intent towards the lower side. Bemis is going to give Decon a good go. This is a perfect frag onto Nico. Finishes off the low HP. And actually, he's dropped a smoke that may destabilize the rest of this plant. They've actually dropped one similarly. The wall bank's not coming in. And Hunter, regardless of his presence, is still punching in the digit. Bemis can spray him. He hasn't gone for it. He is going to catch Jax with a nice little lineup and spray. So they have a numbers advantage for this retake. And this is a retake for survival. Throws in a perfect molly if he no oh, exposes himself to Kenny. Looks like G2 have done it. Wait, there is a kick. Carrigan has one. Three to retake. They have the time. They're coming in from decon. A bit of chaos in a smoke could be the end of it, especially if Hunter gets sprayed. Shots are missed. Bemis desperately trying to adjust his spray. Hunter needs one and he's gone down. Oh, but they line up for Kenny. A quad kill. <laughs> Collateral double. He can't believe it. G2. Survive. They send Mouse Sports out of IEM Beijing and they're locked in for the playoffs. The G2 Samurai will be represented in our top eight.